male or female, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what, what uh, gender you are. Abuse is abuse. And you are the bride of Christ. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Tough Topic. My name is Brittany. I hope everyone is enjoying their day. And I have a little bit of um, new information, I guess you could say, from the medical examiner report. So a lot of us already know what they called um, Micah Miller's death initially as a self unaliving. And we have the investigation report here. It comes from ABC 15 News out of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And I'm just going to kind of read this article to you guys. So it says the North Carolina Medical Examiner released its investigation report into the death of 30 year old Micah Miller. Micah died by a self unaliving at the Lumber River State Park on April 27th. The report included a body diagram which detailed her wounds and other markings on her body. In the report's preliminary summary, law enforcement noted that they recovered two spent casings in one live round on the bank of the river. Micah was found prone submerged in river beside tree limbs and 100 feet from casings, per the report. The medical examiner's document added that there were no signs of a physical struggle. The report said that Miller's family also confirmed a previous attempt for self-unaliving. In the days following Micah's death, the Robeson County Sheriff's Office released the 911 call, security footage, and a timeline of events that detailed that day that she passed away. So in this report, it's really not giving any new information. However, it does spark some details that a lot of people have been confused about just by hearing the family statement and John Paul Miller's statement. The family did say there were signs of struggle on her hands. And her dad said that when he told the medical examiner that, um, they just responded by saying, oh, I didn't see that. It could be from shrubbery from when she was her body was recovered. But her dad was set on, no, those were bruises and scratches. There was no way those bruises or scratches came from shrubbery or rocks or anything in the spot that she was at in the water. Also, there was two casings um, 100 feet from her body. So that's also interesting. Her dad, Michael, said that there was evidence showing that there was um, around that hit the tree and he said that Micah knows how to use a firearm so there was no way that she would have done that she knows how to use it not what you do if you know what you're doing with a weapon and Micah does she's not going to eject a live round to fire it she already knows that it's ready to fire so you, you do not believe she took her own life I do not I believe that it was all staged I believe that the whole thing was premeditated a lot of it is still like an unknown as to what actually happened. The medical examiner report to me is just a bunch of baloney, especially since there was no autopsy. Um, I just feel like there's more to the story. But tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I'll also link this article in the description box. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye for now.